Here's another example. Termite nest. Destroying that tree. Two organisms in this like fight for survival. Who's right? Termites or the tree? That's an interesting question, isn't it? But they're both on that coin of life. So 88, coming to you from Mount Isa today. Just behind there is Australia's largest freestanding structure, the Mount Isa Mines Smelter. Out for a run this morning. Let's go do it. Beautiful day. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, good morning. Look at all these cheeky birds. All hoping that I perish on my run so I can pick my eyeballs out. That's not very cool, Mr. Birds. It's Mount Isa. There's the airport just over there in the distance. This is a glimmering of lights. Welcome to Mount Isa. You know what? It's a beautiful day! Oh. <laughs> this is crazy! Here we go. Oh my god. Wow. Mount Isa. You're beautiful. Who would have thought this dusty old city Full of cowboy boots could be so beautiful. Hello. They're not far out of town. Horses just chilling. Just chilling. It's kind of a lesson for today. One side of this ridge, you've got just the light there. Mount Isa. It's kind of ugly smelter. The massive piles of tailings. It's like a scar on the landscape. Then, over the other side, the vision splendid of sunlit plains extended. And at night, the wondrous glory of the everlasting stars, as Banjo Patterson would say. It's basically like the land, untouched as it would have been when the Kakadun people inhabited this region for thousands, tens of thousands of years. It's like two sides of the same coin. It's funny, isn't it? It's because even that big ugly thing sitting right there has two sides. Like, yeah, it's ugly, it's destroyed the environment. It's a scar, but it's also brought prosperity. It's created this town. It's created advancement in humanity. And over that side, <laughs> wild untamed lands. that were once only really the domain of the local Aboriginal tribe. On one hand, they're beautiful and sustainable. But on the other, the land's so dry and merciless. Two sides, one coin. So many contrasts. Same coin, huh? Life and uh, death. That's the lawn cemetery. Grass is beautiful. Stunning. I guess to uh, have beautiful grass in Mount Isa, you gotta treat it with uh, effluent water. So, even when you're dead, there's two sides of the coin. 
you could be dead, buried under some beautiful grass. But it's irrigated with shit. <laughs> oh man. What do you choose? It's all one coin, right? <laughs> You're still dead. Well, the most uh, obvious example for me of the two coin stuff. I've been running businesses for the last 13 years and as somebody who's started businesses and been an entrepreneur, I've just loved the fast pace of being able to innovate and, you know, not have to have any rules there that you have to stick to. So the fast pace is amazing in, in small business. But uh, after a point, that starts to break down because, you know, things aren't scalable, repeatable, delegatable, because you've got no systems and processes. And so I had to learn really quickly how to put build really good systems and processes so that things could be done consistently over and over again. So one side of the coin is like that dynamic, fast pace innovation. But the other side of that coin is great systems and processes. And you need like both sides of the coin in order for a business to be good and to run well. And so I suppose next time you've got a disagreement with somebody and uh, you just can't possibly understand how they could have this stupid idea that they've got Try to think about how both of you are on different sides of the same coin because at least that's your point of consistency. So this may be a good way to solve problems. Anyway, whatever you're getting up to today, hope it's a good one. I'm Rob Malikian. Thanks for joining me on the morning walk. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.